Let us go through the details related to indexes supported in RDBMS such as Postgres. An index can be unique or non-unique. When we create a unique index, data will be sorted in ascending order and uniqueness is enforced. Whereas when we create a non-unique index, data will be sorted but uniqueness will not be enforced. Unless specified, all indexes are of type B tree. B tree is nothing but an algorithm which is typically used to manage the indexes internally within the database. For sparsely populated columns such as user ID, student ID, course ID, created date, last updated timestamp, etc., we tend to create B tree indexes. B tree indexes are the most commonly used ones, especially when it comes to RDBMS databases to support web or mobile applications. For densely populated columns such as gender where we have only male or female or probably some third value, more than that will not be having other value and hence it is called as densely populated column. Even month is kind of a densely populated column. Even if you take 10 years of data, you hardly have 120 unique months and hence it is also densely populated column. So for densely populated columns such as gender, month, etc., with very few distinct values, we can leverage something called as bitmap index. However, bitmap indexes are not used quite extensively in typical web or mobile applications or the databases which support web or mobile applications. Write operations will become relatively slow as data have to be managed in index as well as table when we create the index. We need to be careful while creating indexes on the tables as write operations can become slow as more indexes are added to the table. Here are some of the criteria for creating indexes. We can create unique indexes when you want to enforce uniqueness. If you define unique constraint or primary key constraint, it will create unique index internally. We don't need to explicitly create an index for primary key or unique constraints. The indexes will be automatically created. We can also pre-create the index and we should be able to enforce the constraint using that index. However, when you define the constraint unique uh, or primary key, it will automatically enforce the constraint using the existing index. If you are performing joins between two tables based on a value, then the foreign key column in the child table should be indexed. Otherwise, the performance will be very slow. Let's take an example here. Typically, as part of order management system, we tend to get all the order details for a given order using order ID. Over a period of time, a customer might have placed 100 different orders. He might want to check the status of a given order. For that, he will log in into the system or the application and he will actually click on the order and he should see the details uh, such as order items, uh, what is the current status of the order, etc. In our case, we'll be able to improve the query performance by adding index on order items, order item, order ID. However, write operation will become a bit slow when we create the index on this uh, field called as order item, order ID, which is nothing but a foreign key to orders, order ID, but it is acceptable and it is required to create an index on order items, order ID. We will write once, but we'll read many times in the life of an order and hence adding this index will be quite useful for our application. Let us perform tasks related to indexes to understand the performance difference before and after creating the indexes. We will drop and recreate retail DB tables. We have six tables. All the tables will be dropped and recreated. We will then load data into retail DB tables. Then optionally, we will compute statistics. It is typically taken care of automatically by the schedules defined by DBS. We will use code to randomly fetch 2000 orders and join with order items. We will compute time, then we will create index for order items, order item order ID, and we will compute statistics just for that index or the table in which the index is created. Then we will use the same code again to randomly fetch 2000 orders and join with order items. We will also compute time at that time. Then we will compare the difference between the time that is computed here against the time that is computed here which will give us an idea how much performance improvement will be there when it comes to adding the index on key fields such as order items, order item, order ID to improve the performance of our joins to get the order details by passing an order ID. Here is the script to create tables and load data in case there are no tables in retail DB database. So let me first copy paste this uh, command to connect to the database. You can also use uh, the terminal from here and then you should be able to paste this uh, command. It will prompt for the password. You just have to enter the password provided to you. As you have successfully connected, now you should be able to copy these commands to drop the tables and paste over here. It will take care of dropping all the tables. If you observe, there is no cascade here. The reason is the tables are dropped in right order. We have dropped the child tables first and then the parent tables. And hence the foreign key constraints are already dropped when we try to drop the parent tables. And hence we don't need to use cascade. Otherwise we might have to use cascade. Now we can actually run this script to create the tables. 
also we can run the script to load the data into the tables you can also review the structure of tables such as orders and order items using backward slash d in psql in this case we are using psql and hence i can say backward slash d orders you can see there is only primary key in orders when it comes to order items also there is only primary key which is nothing but order items underscore p key there is no foreign key if you want you can add that foreign key however that is not the main agenda for this topic the main agenda for this topic is to explain you how much improvement will be there when you index fields such as order id if you define these tables properly by now there should be a foreign key constraint between order item order id to orders order id whether we have it or not explicitly it doesn't matter as long as our data satisfies the condition we should still be able to evaluate the performance of the queries okay so don't get confused that there is no foreign key here even if you have foreign key it is a good idea to create the index without foreign key also sometimes applications will take care of enforcing the constraints even then we should be having indexes on fields such as order item order id now if you go back to the material we need to have this library called as scikit-g2 it will facilitate python code to connect to the database and perform database operations then you can import this library in this case we are going to use python based approach to validate the performance by running the same query pre index and post index the query is nothing but this one select star from orders o join order items oi on o dot order id equal to oi dot order item order id where o dot order id equal to whatever is passed when we actually execute the query if you look at this while loop it is trying to generate 2000 random orders or random order ids and we are passing those random order ids to the query as a argument and then we should be able to get the details with respect to the order now if you run this piece of code it will try to connect to the database iterate through 2000 times and generate 2000 unique order ids or random order ids and using those 2000 random order ids it will try to execute this and you should be able to see how long it it's going to take in uh, a moment the reason why we have percentage percentage time is to compute the amount of time it took to execute this cell and you can see that it took 21.3 seconds so for 2000 orders without indexes it took 21 seconds to get the order details from order items when we do not have the index on order item order id now we should be able to connect to the database and we should be able to create an index on uh, order items order id the index name is order items oid underscore idx on order items order item order id and we are going to run the same piece of code here this has to be select star not select count of one you can copy paste the same code here and you can take it further uh, let me actually copy paste here so i copied it and pasted it here now let's run this again it is already executed it took only 408 milliseconds to process 2000 orders that are randomly generated so that's how the sequence uh, can improve the performance when it comes to adding on foreign key fields when you want to get the details from the child tables so in those scenarios where you will pass one value and get the details from the child table it is a good idea to add index on the foreign key field in the child table it will definitely improve the performance significant on top of indexes for unique constraints primary key constraints this is another criteria where we typically create indexes to improve the performance of our queries